What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode we finally come came back to the Alola region and now it is time for us to go into route number four just to see what we can actually find. Our next trial is right up here so, we, so it has been said and we need to train up our Pokemon, capture some new Pokemon and uh... I don't even know. Just a lot of stuff that we need to do, guys. Things that we should have completed a while back. So, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. Going with Toxic Batman in the front. And we're just going to be taking care of business right now, guys. We've always been saying this. Taking care of business. Take training against every single trainer we have right here. Now, here we are in Route 4. And we're going to be going up against... Uh, let's see. Bellhop Jody? Yes, his name is Bellhop Jody right here. And, well... There are quite a few Pokemon that you can actually find in this area. One being an Eevee, and the rest of them is just, you know, Grubin, Igglybuff, Lillipup, Mudbray, Pikipek, and Alolan Rattata, which is pretty damn awesome right there. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to be battling, trying to power up all our Pokemon right here, and bam, we're getting our butts kicked by a uh, uh, Drifloon right here. Look at that. Okay, so here we go. Now... Again, I have yet to establish a team yet. I probably should have captured a little bit more Pokemon in the last island. But that will be for a little bit later on. Uh, from time to time, you guys may may see some trades here and there. As I get, you know, further into like what we're going to be doing right here in Pokemon Moon. My team is not... My team is not set right now, but I do have the ability to actually... Uh, to train up my Pokemon in Pokemon Sun. So it's no biggie right now, guys. It really isn't. And well, as you can see, we're learning a new move for Puka. Now, as many of you guys already know, I've gotten Puka from uh, Pokemon Sun. Named it Puka because eventually I want to use it as an Alolan Raichu. That's one Pokemon that I have yet to use. Another one is Alolan, uh, what was it? Alolan Sandshrew and Sand Slash. I've already used it in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I think. Trainer tips. Even among the same species of Pokemon, individuals will have different strains. They may not seem too different at first, but as they grow, so, so too will their differences. Okay, so let's see. We're going to be grabbing some items, finding some new Pokemon, maybe capturing them. And here we have found a Great Ball. And, well, we got to keep on going. Now, in certain locations, you will be able to find some of these Zygarde Cubes. Day or night, it doesn't really matter, but the amount you grab, the amount you grab right here, like right now, you got yourself a Zygarde cube. This will, uh, you know, will actually make a Pokemon or Zygarde a little bit more powerful. Change its, uh, it will change its, whatchamacallit, its appearance and whatnot. You know these winding roads sometimes have secret little spots that uh, are easy to overlook. Yeah, they are. They are very easy to overlook, so we're going to be battling some other trainers right here. As you can see, I am a collector, which is to say I collect Pokemon. Same here. Anywho, Pokemon trainers out there. Now, I did say in some of my hat games that I was going to be doing, um, what was it called? I was going to be doing the green screen with this game. I would, but it, it, it just takes so much time just to do it for this game right here, guys, that I will be saving it for another entry on the 3DS. And uh, you guys probably already know which game I want to play next. It's just a matter of time of getting it out and all that crud. So let's go ahead and move on right here. Let's go straight. To, uh, no, we don't have a good move for this guy. Wow. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to be battling this guy, Munchlax, for, with Toxic Batman right here. Let's go with the wing attack. Let's see what happens. There's the wing attack. Munchlax is taking that hit, and here comes a tackle attack right here. Oh, crud baskets. Okay, so looks like we're going to be going with the uh, absorb attack. And there we go. Who? Oh, crud. Yeah, he's not taking a lot. And amnesia. Okay, so this guy is going is definitely going to strengthen up its defenses right now. Its special defense has gone up. So no more special attacks. So let's go straight again with another physical attack right here in wing attack. And bam. Look at that. Okay, so here comes a defense girl. This guy is like... He's literally trying to just try and... Uh, <laughs> Beef up, beef up its defenses, and here we go, another wing attack, and it nearly finishes this guy off, so here comes another amnesia attack, 
Why would you do that? I do not know. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Wing attack. And... Nearly finishes off Munchlax. This guy's making me work for it. Holy crud. Okay, so we're really we're really working for this one right here. So, yeah, let's go again. Wing attack. Doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. So here we go. Wing attack for the win. Toxic Batman is victorious. Everybody else is gaining levels. And coming out with a Bagon. This is something new. Let's go with Joker right here. Now, you guys probably notice how precise I am with looking for items and all that stuff. That is because, well, I got my, uh, my, my guide right here. It's actually helping me out, which is good. And... You know, hopefully everything's a little bit more accurate than in most walkthroughs because, yeah. Draven's not the best uh, accurate person right here. And, whoa, that is an Ember attack that did not work. So, here we go again. Disarming Voice for the win. And here comes Disarming Voice. And there goes Bagon. Say goodbye. Oh, my God. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And Collector Bryant has been defeated. And, well, let's see. There is an item right behind this man, so let's go right ahead and grab it. And here we found ourselves a revive, which could be useful for us. And, well, let's see. There's still more things that we can actually find right here. There's an individual that will actually try and battle us, but there is an item right here. And we found ourselves a dire hit. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's see. You know what? Dump Trunk hasn't actually battled, so let's go ahead and start battling with this guy right here. Alright, let's see. Alright, what's up, homie? I rely on apps for traveling recommendations. Oh, technology nap. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Sightseer Scotty. And, well, Sightseer Scotty, looking like he's got two Pokemon right here. He's got a regular uh, Rattata. And, well, we're going to be going with the dump truck. And Dump Truck is looking uh, pretty mean right now. So let's go straight for a Pound Attack. And that Focus Energy. Oh, I do not look... I do not like the look on this Pokemon right here. So here we go. Pound Attack. Nearly does it. Let's go straight for a Bite Attack. And, well, that Quick Attack pretty much hits us pretty, pretty good. And there we go. Bite Attack does its thing. Dump Truck definitely doing some stuff right here. And, yes, yeah, so he's like, I guess I still haven't mastered the recommended recommended uh, Radita. That's funny. That is funny. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let us move on right here. There, there are some Pokemon that you can actually find, but there is also an item right here, too. And here we have an Adrenaline Orb. And kind of want to know what the Adrenaline Orb does. So, let's see. 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 Ah, there we go. So, using it makes wild Pokemon more likely to call for help. If held by a Pokemon, it boosts speed when intimidated. It can only be used once. So, that right there is like taking your chances. It really is. So, there's no need for this item and all that. And, well, let's see. When looking at your Pokemon summary page, you can change the arrangement of its moves by touching the move, dragging it across the lower screen, and dropping it to the new spot. Oh, that's nice. And, well, let's see. We are close to the next town right here, but there is an item on the other side, so... Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's see. Nope, that's wrong. And let's go with Terra Ruff. I haven't... You know, I haven't used much of Terra Ruff. Kind of want to. Kind of want to see what it can do. So, let's see what this guy has. Huh. The first step of surpassing Captain Mallow is strengthening my Pokemon. Oh, strengthening your Pokemon. All right, here we go. Another battle. Bring it on. Okay, so let's see. We got ourselves Cook Ernie wanting to battle. Coming out with this cutie fly. It really does look cute. It is a very, very cute Pokemon. So here we go. Terra Ruff looking like it's a terrible Pokemon. And, well, let's see. You can only use Tackle right now. And here comes Struggle Buck. And Struggle Bug really hits us hard, so our special attack has gone down. So there we go. Tackle attack hits it pretty good. And, well, we got to switch out our Pokemon right now. We have to. Good gravy. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. Good old Ultra Psycho. It's never, ever, ever failed us. 
And well, here comes uh, Cutie Fly's Fairy Wind. Fairy Wind, I should say. And that doesn't do much damage to us. So here we go. Let's go straight for a Confusion Attack. And the Confusion Attack does its thing. Look at that. Cutie Fly defeated. Oh my god. Defeated. Okay. And well, Terra Ruff grows to level 12, which is good. And it's learning how, which, uh. I mean, it's good, I guess, just to power up its attack, but we do need more, well, we need better attacks. Hopefully, we'll get that, and, well, everybody else is growing levels, like Toxic Batman, level 15, and, well, Ernie has been defeated. And, well, let's see. What is next? There is an item. There are two, three items right here, so i going to grab all of them, because we can, and, yes, we are going to get attacked by a Pokemon. That's always nice. And, well, here it is. We are getting attacked by a Mudbray. A very, very cool Pokemon, in my opinion. It's just a ground-type Pokemon. But I already have the Shiny Berry in Sun version, so I will be switching that out. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this little sucker. And we got ourselves an Energy Root. Okay, so that right there is perfect. And we're going to get attacked again by another Pokemon because, well, yeah. And let's see what it's all about. And another Mudbray would like to attack us because, well, why not? And let's run away because we do not want to get attacked, okay? All right, here we go. Let's move. And here we have two items that we can actually find right here. It's just a matter of finding it right there. Hold on. There we go. We found ourselves a big mushroom. And right here, you'll be able to find a figgy berry. Well, quite a few berries. And there we go. Another Pekka, Pecha berry. Here we go again. And we found ourselves another figgy berry. And, well, that right there brings us to the next area, which is Pino uh, Pinoila. Pinoila Town. And, well... Just like that, you're going to meet up with your buddy, How, and he's like, Hey, Draven, I'm glad I ran into you. So, can we see who's stronger now? My gramps must have uh, thought I have gotten enough uh, enough in uh, my grand trial because he gave me a Z-Ring, too. Having a battle in a place like Panoi Panoi Paniola, Paniola Town feels like we're in a real old-fashioned Western showdown or something, right? This is so cool. Though, I, if we were real honorable cowboys, we've got to make sure our teams are healthy first. And, well, he's healing up my Pokemon, which is great. That's probably something more than what, you know, our other friend would have done. And, well, he's like, all right, Pikachu and team, let's show the newbie uh, uh, what Alola's got. Okay, so here we go. Another battle against How. And, well, this guy right here is a... Uh, Going to be sending out his Pikachu because, well, you know, he's he, he has to copy me. But the advantage that I have is that good old Terra Ruff is a rock type Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and start with the bite attack and Electro Ball. Wow, it actually affects Terra Ruff. What the? F oh my god, here we go. Bite attack does some damage. We got to switch out our Pokemon, we have got to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Ultra Psycho. I, I know. I realize it. It's like cheating. Using a super strong special attacker against Pikachu. But guess what? It's my game. I am going to destroy this Pikachu as soon as it stops attacking me with Electro Ball. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Let's go straight for a Confusion Attack. And stop attacking me, you a-hole. Here we go. Confusion Attack for the win. And Pikachu has been defeated. And uh, Ultra Psycho grows to level 19. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And Terra Ruff grows to level 13. Everybody else is growing. Joker's growing to level 20. Dumb Truck at level 17. And here we have Tora Cat. Tora Cat. That is a nice name for a new Pokemon right here. So we're going to be switching out and we're going to be going straight to Joker. Let's do this. Let's go, Joker. Okay, and well, Toracat is looking uh, a little vicious, so we're going to go with an Aqua Jet and hope for the best right here. Here comes a Quick Claw, here comes an Aqua Jet, and well, it does its damage, but here comes a Fire Fang, and well, that wasn't very effective. Let's go straight again for another Aqua Jet. 
Aqua Jet for the win. And look at that. Torcat defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And Hal has been defeated. He he is not so happy. Well, he's always happy. What's going on? I'm scared. <laughs> Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon look like they're uh, they had a blast too. Right then, here I'll share a bit of my good luck with you, Draven. Hmm. We have uh, he's giving us a dire hit. Okay. You know, you know how the totem Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura of poke power. If you use dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land that critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You know, Pokemon battles are just like, well, sometimes you know you win, sometimes you lose, but you're only a, a real, or you're only really a loser if you don't have any fun while you're at it, right? Anyways, I'm headed off to P uh, Paniola, Paniola Ranch, Paniola Ranch. Okay. Alrighty, so we have, uh, well, we have finally reached Paniola Pani Ranch or Paniola Town, yeah, Paniola Town. In the next episode, guys, we're going to be exploring a little bit more of Paniola Ranch, Mumu, Paddock, um, the whole town and all that crud and all its glory. And then hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully we progress from here. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.